Adisa Baba Fairy Tales and Bedtime Stories for Kids The Ox and the Frog Once upon a time, there was a little ox living in the farm by a lake. This little ox was very unhappy because he was much smaller than all the other oxes in the farm. He always complained about it. And yes, once again, he was complaining to his friend, the dog. I am the smallest ox on the farm. In fact, I am sure that I am the smallest in the world. And there's nothing I can do to change this. Don't start again, my friend. You're actually, in fact, a pretty big, clever and cute ox. It's impossible for us all to be the same size, right? Yes, we don't have to be all the same size. But why am I not the biggest? Look, I am not the biggest dog in the world. I am sure that somewhere there is a bigger dog than me. But I do not worry about this. I am happy with who I am. But I am not. In the lake right next to the farm, where our unhappy ox lived, there lived a very self-centered frog. This frog loved to brag about himself next to his friends. He was bigger than all the other frogs, and he was proud of this. I am the biggest frog in this lake, and whoever is the biggest is the king. From now on, everybody has to call me my king. There is no rule that says the biggest will be the king. And actually, we don't need a king. Why not? Every place has a king. For example, the lion is the king of the jungle. Yes, but the lion is not the biggest animal in the jungle. There is the elephant, for example. Our self-centered frog had to think about his answer and then answered back, bragging as always. This is not the jungle and you are not elephants. I am the king and that is it. The other frogs had talked amongst themselves. They had to teach this frog a lesson. But they didn't know what to do. One day when the frogs were swimming in the lake, they saw the ox eating away sadly on the other side of the lake. Never in their life had they seen an animal this big. Wow, what a big animal! Right at that moment, they thought of an idea. Well, doesn't our self-centered frog say that the biggest animal is the king? Then this must be the king! The frogs immediately went next to the ox. They told him about the situation and asked for help. Yes, but I'm just a little ox. What can I do for you? Little who, you? You won't need to do a thing. We will bring a friend of ours that is very much in love with himself and you leave the rest up to us. Okay, but now I have to get back to the farm or the farmer will worry. The following day, the frogs went over next to the frog that was very much in love with himself. They mentioned that there was a giant animal on the other side of the lake. He wants to see you. Okay then, let's go over and see who this giant animal is. The frogs went over to the other side of the lake. The ox was waiting for them on the edge of the lake. The frog, who was very much in love with himself, almost swallowed his small tongue. Mm -hmm. But did not make anything obvious to his friends. So, you're the giant that wants to be the king of this lake. The ox wanted to say something, but... Uh, mm. In a hurry, the female frog answered. Weren't you the one that said, whoever is the biggest will be king? Seeing as though the ox is bigger, then it's his right to be king. Oh yeah? I can be as big as him. Right. And how so? When the frogs were talking amongst themselves, the self-centered ox thought of himself to be super big and worthy because this was the first time someone was mentioning how big he was. Now you will see how I will grow. And so the frog began to inflate. Am I as big as the ox? The frog inflated himself a little bit more. What do you think? Am I as big as the ox? 
Uh, uh, oh. The frog began to inflate himself once again. Now he was not able to talk. He could only stare with his eyes waiting for assurance. All the other frogs began to laugh. <laughs> no, you can't do it. No, you're not that big. <laughs> Inflate a little more. <laughs> the frog continued to inflate. He inflated and inflated and turned into a balloon. With his amazed gaze, the ox stared at the frog. <laughs> the very inflated frog had blown up so big he no longer looked like a frog. He pushed so hard that eventually he began to float and started to go up. Eventually he reached as high as the ox, but he needed to pass the ox. With some more effort, he blew up a bit more and went higher. And Frogs just stood there, staring. This was a very tough lesson. They were all really sad about what had happened to the frog who thought of himself to be bigger than anyone else. And so, after seeing all that had happened, never ever did the little ox complain again. He accepted himself as he is and was happy with it.